Actually, no, it doesn't make me look jolly. It doesn't make me look cute. It doesn't make me look happy. But I like it anyways. This morning, I fell off a cliff. And when I mean I fell off a cliff, I mean I fell off a cliff. And when I landed, eventually, I dislocated my shoulder. Anybody out there who is maybe thinking, hey, I think I'll dislocate my shoulder. No, just just no, no, it just forget that. It's not pleasant at all. You I do not recommend it. You're not gonna like it. Just think of something else. Maybe a arrow in the knee or something. It was damn painful. I had to somehow climb back up the hill to get over the hump, to get back down the hill, across a brief flat spot, then back up the next hill, and then down that hill, and then down a farther hill, get back to the ranch until the major domo here, hey, I need medical care. And fortunately, the person, uh, Andrew, drove me into Los Alamos Hospital and I received medical care. But on the way, to keep my mind off how terribly frightened I was, and to tell the truth, I still am, I sang songs and I made jokes. And in between the songs and the jokes, I moaned in agony because every bump in the rocky dirt road jostled my dislocated shoulder. To say it was not a pleasant drive would be a vast understatement. So I got to the emergency medical room. I was making jokes. I was uh, People were laughing with me. Uh, funny things I said self-deprecating jokes, you know, like, um, I don't know, it was funny at the time. I was actually singing They're Hanging Me Tonight while they were taking the x-rays of my shoulder. And the doctor, when he arrived, he was upset because he asked why I had been sedated before um, I was given an examination before he examined me because, you know, he doesn't know what the hell, um, you know, he'd ask to ask me questions, are you allergic to this and that and the other, stuff like that. He thought I had been sedated. I consider that an insult. But the nurse told him, no, th this is the way he is. The nurse asked me if I had been taking perhaps medical marijuana or something, or if I had been drinking or something. I said, no, this is, this is the way I am. Give me some fucking pain reliever. My shoulder fucking hurts. So the doctor um, told me the procedure on getting an arm back into a shoulder that had been dislocated. The procedure sounded much much, much worse than falling off a cliff. But he also told me that he had a drug that would make me forget it had even happened, the procedure to put my arm back in the shoulder. And after he explained that, he asked me to sign it. Dude, right arm, broken, torn out of the socket, like some gorilla had come along. Sign your piece of paper, huh? So he says, okay, initial, you know, you can use your left hand, it doesn't really matter. So, I got x-rayed, I got poked, prodded, and then I was given um, anti-nausea drugs. It took them a long time to find a vein that would actually work. Uh, anti-nausea drugs and waited for that to sort of kick in and then I was giving 
the pain reliever drug that would make me forget that I was even alive. And they put that in the IV. And then everybody went away. And I waited. And I waited. And I waited. I waited some more. I was laying down on a hospital bed. And then the doctor came and said, you're ready to be discharged. And I said to the doctor, um, doctor, what about my fucking shoulder? Are you going to help me out here? And he said, well, it's in there. And I said, no, you still need to put the fucking arm back in the fucking socket. And then he walked away and he talked to the head nurse and the head nurse got my papers all together. It appears I had completely forgotten that they had put my arm back in the socket, in the shoulder. And the person who drove me to the uh, hospital witnessed the doctor putting my arm in the shoulder. And I was damn glad that I wasn't there when he did that. Apparently, the doctor had to uh, stand on the side and kind of twist the arms in just the right angle and then yank and then shove and then pull a little more and Andrew the person who drove me up there said it took all the doctor's strength to get my arm back in the socket I am so glad with modern pharmacology. I didn't and still don't remember any of that. <sighs> yeah, well, I won't be picking the Dobro for a while, but I can at least have an excuse to sleep in tomorrow.